Hello and welcome to a new episode of SAP Lalo Tutorial. In the last video, I saw a comment that I should real quick say the equipments for my heroes. And I really like this equipment, like the normal equipment on Queen and Warden and Royal Champion, of course, and on this new gauntlet on the King. And very important to say is that every three level in an equipment, there is a huge upgrade. I mean, look at this on level 18, you see everything gets an upgrade. And if I just go on level 16, it's just a small upgrade. Um, but what my recommendation to you is, of course, the gauntlet is very important and the eternal tome. And I upgraded the um, invisibility as well from the queen and the next thing I will do is probably this to level 18 and after that the rage or the giant gauntlet again the royal champion I don't think she is that important at the moment because she will get some new perks and maybe one of those is better as well and the archer puppet on the queen is probably not the best as well because in maybe a month or something, there is a new equipment, uh, an epic equipment as well for the queen. So I probably will take that one, but yeah. And for the pets, very important to say is always use the new fox if you have it maxed. Mine is going to max right now, but if you already have it maxed, of course, use it. Um, it's very powerful, especially in Lalo, because a ground pole always will target your royal champion. So if she will go invisible, it is a very, very good thing for you. But yeah, let's head right into the first base. And just for quick information, I will probably upload my YouTube base in the next video as well. And I see right now that yesterday, the, the dude that I attacked today is the same as yesterday. Um, but yeah, let's head right into the first attack. And this is probably not a ring base. I would I'd say it's more a anti-2 base. Um, just because the difference is just probably in a ring base there is every single key defense in the middle around the town hall and in an anti-2 it's just town hall in the middle and the damage is spread in the base but on this base it's probably really hard to find a good sap position because of course you have some but you don't have like really good ones i mean here is one i would say Maybe this one is the other. And of course on this side as well. Um, maybe the multi and the multi arch tower is maybe a good decision. But I actually went for these three buildings. And why is that? Because after I took this out, it's very easy to funnel. You see, these buildings around here are only protected by this wizard tower and the wizard tower doesn't have a really high range so you can send in some archers for funneling and yeah and after you see you have a little damage area here in this in this compartment right here you have a scatter you have a multi and the enemy queen and an expo and of course the sweeper right here um, I decided to come from this side exactly because of the sweeper. My plan was to lalo through in here on this top side. Um, but if I would go from this side and take out this sweeper, I always would have the sweeper against me. And it's the same approach from each side. So it doesn't make a difference if I come from this side or this side. It's just better this side because of the sweeper. Um, and you see, I get some value with my steps, these three buildings, 
it's not much but it's better than nothing send in here some archers for funneling and now i can easily funnel in my heroes in this compartment to be honest my plan was to take the king in this compartment right here but after i think twice about it it was pretty good that my king went in here you see with my king ability i easily get this compartment out get the cc out as well let me put it on one time right there i was a little bit unlucky that the skeleton spell didn't tank for my queen but at the end i got my value so yeah my goal was actually to get the scatter and the sweeper as well as i said the wizard beautifully takes out this air defense for the lalo after and here i was very lucky to get this tornado uh, tornado uh, trap triggered um yeah and the phoenix tanked very good for my queen for the scatter and look at it i got all my value so now i can start with my lalo and you see i always or i want always to go first into the damage because the prob the probability that you uh, that you pop your warden early in a ring base for your blimp is um, more likely than in the back end and so you can pop the warden ability for your blimp but as well for this damage area you can tank with the warden ability the scatter shot this multi the eagle and you can even get the royal champion out early and quickly so that's why i went from this side and of course because i have no sweeper against me and then sending in the royal champion and now two headhunters the blimp and the lava hunt as always and now again my my rage spell i think i mentioned it already in a video but look at my rage spell it covers the scatter behind the town hall as well and look at my yetis they are still raged up even if they are away from the town hall i mean it's not that much big of a deal but it's maybe making the one percent difference um the lalo is probably always the same it's just a thing about practice um i don't think i can um, give you that good tips for it um but yeah as you see in the end it's some loons are alive the royal champion and even if you had not that much sub value right into the next replay and here we are in our next base and this is probably a ring base because you see every important defense is in the core um and yeah and you see on this basis you have much more zap value um you got these four right here on this side as well you got the scatter and the expo you got both scatters and the poison tower but on this base i obviously went for this set it not only gives me good value it gives me good puffing as well and puffing for your heroes in a ring base is very important after you found a good set value the only thing you need more is a good sui and you see on this base i set out these buildings and i can go down here with my heroes and get them get the scatter and the multi maybe even the poison tower and the enemy queen of, uh, as well so always try to go for good sub values for a good value with your sui and let me speed it up oh there we go hit everything and again i funnel with some archers because it's just a very cheap funnel and i mean here is really not a building that can hurt your archers sadly i don't get this building i don't know why this archer is not in the range but 
Anyway, I can speed it up right here. You see, funneling with my archer queen, if you get one or two buildings out of your archer, it is, I would say, easier to funnel your queen. You see, I'm waiting with my king, because if I would have sent in my king and he got these two buildings, my queen went for this elixir storage. So I waited until my queen is right here. So now she will follow. I head on for the enemy queen. And here as well is the gauntlet of the king, very important. He can slay the expo through the wall and it's just the best equipment at the moment in the game. Now a mini Lalo with the royal champion for this multi because my queen cannot reach it from this compartment. Um, you see the Lalo again, headhunter and a lava hunt in the ability with the blimp. And now again, look at look at the rage. The rage covers the town hall, the scatter, the expo, and the other multi inferno tower. So a very good placed rage can save you spells. And skeleton for the monolith in the backhand, headhunter for the enemy king. And you see this base is crushed as well. But yeah, let's take a look at the last base now. Coming in here to the last base. And this base is uh, anti 2 again, but here is all the damage stacked in the core. And again, here you want to take the best possible sap value and go for a good sui with your heroes. And you see these holes here um, that provides that you cannot get the scatter or the expo with your queen so I thought I can zap these three buildings here and go with the sui in for these two and that's why I didn't went for these three building as a zap and for the sui for this because I cannot get this with my sui um, and yeah, so you see, I also get the Royal Champion if I do my Sui in here. Um, so yeah, let me speed it up. You see, I zapped it beautifully, took out the, the Rage Tower as well. And now my goal is to get the Arch Tower and the, uh, and the Tesla and funnel again with two Archers. It's just a very, very cheap funnel. Um, but yeah, you see, with these two buildings gone, you can place your queen above this dark barrack. And yeah, now you can sweep easily in. And now I wait for my queen to get this storage so I can wall break. Because if I would wall break now, the wall break would target this compartment right here. But as soon as this building is down, I can wall break. Now, you see the king want to go outside. That's why I popped it on the, on the mortar so he can splash off the gold storage and get it down as well and walk in. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately my queen don't walk in, but she gets the eagle, so she's, fi she's fine. And now you see the only thing that is up against your Lalo is this multi, the queen, the scatter, the town hall of course, and this multi right here, and maybe this two archer towers. But for this multi and town hall, you got the blimp with the rage spell, so you don't have to waste any more spells on that one. And then you have two freezes for the scatter and the multi, and a haste of course. You see, many loons flow in, which wasn't the best, but it was not the worst, but you should definitely try to keep the loons away from the town hall. And now you see, you still have uh, a freeze, which I'm placing now, 
and a haste for this multi and the monolith and you got, still got the RC with pretty good health and you see this base is easy as well so yeah always try to just sap for good value and your sui as well for good value and then just lolo the rest yeah with the blimp for the town hall thank you all guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and we see us in the next video peace